this is Crazy Cars 3, also known as American Lamborghini Challenge. It's a sprite-scaling, third-person, rear-view racing game in which illegal street races are organized all over the U.S. So let's select a character. Uh -huh. Well, not enough characters to write applesauce. Joe it is, then. And here is the United States. And our competitors. Your goal is to become street racing champion with your almost supersonic Lambo, all the while avoiding regular traffic, avoiding police patrols, and beating the other psycho street racers in their respective Lambos. You can buy upgrades of different sorts to improve your chances of winning. It's a very atmospheric game, in which the graphical style, general game theme, music, sound effects, and game mechanics for you too. It's slick. You can select different races, the yellow stars being the ones you have enough money to pay the fee to participate in. You can check out who is racing there, the level of competitors, in this case amateurs, and then you move on to a betting pool. You can up the bet, or match the bet, and whomever wins the race gets the entire pot at the end. So you want to try to keep up with the betting and push it ever so slightly up if you're confident of being able to win. And here we are. Our Lamborghini, the open road, a distance meter that tells us how far the final checkpoint is, and nothing but your driving skills separating you from victory. The non-Lambo cars are not competitors, they're the regular traffic in the area. The Lamborghinis, like the grey one, well the grey ones we just overtick there, are the other competitors. Each time you hit a competing car, traffic, obstacles, something else hits you, your car gets damaged. The damage meter there on the upper left will start increasing and eventually you will start losing speed. Damage is persistent, meaning that if you don't repair it between races, you will start the next race just as damaged as you finish the last one. So try to not damage your car too much and have enough cash to repair it between races. Ugh, my skills at mashing the keyboard are not good enough to avoid all obstacles. The cars with the rival signal there are the ones that have a faced or character rival car. Uh, you just saw briefly the, oh, the thumbnail appear on the upper left corner when we passed one seat. There's one of our rivals, and we're going to overtake her. And there she goes. The point being to get to the final checkpoint ahead of anyone else. We are currently in first place. Our car is cruising at top speed. Keep in mind that this is one of the easiest tracks on the board. That is why I am not crashing constantly, getting bumped into, or being squeezed in and out of traffic unrelentlessly. Unrelentingly or relentlessly. Vocabulary. So, let's try to finish this race with quite a scenic overlook on that uh, island over there, though we'll never get there, unfortunately. Those are the conditions of sprite scaling. The background never gets any closer. Try not to brake ever, if at all possible. Brake only if and really necessary in really tight corners or to avoid obstacles. But here we are, the final straight, I think, and we will soon have 
a victory screen if nothing happens. It's a really long street. That's a really long straight with the monotone engine noise. Oh, finally. Countdown to the... Checkpoint. And there it is. Race over. One win accumulated. And there it is. Prize money. You want to finish within the podium to get some prize money, and because we won the race, we also get the pot, so a total of 14,000 bucks. Not bad, and 3 points for the division scoreboard. Just have a listen to that soundtrack. So, we are second. Spencer is currently first on the board. The point being to complete all the races on the map in our current division and the points total accumulated being enough for you to progress to the next division. We are currently in division 4, so you can do the math and yep, dozens of races until you are the ultimate champion. Keep in mind, so that is the Division Challenge race, that uh, you spend fees to get into races as well, so don't spend all of your money on upgrades or repairing your car if you're going to not have enough money to compete anywhere. That will be a game over, and not a very smart one at that. Let's get a radar, that way we'll be able to tell whether there's police uh, trying to get us. One of the design flaws, the upgrades are not very well explained, meaning that if you haven't bought them previously and you don't know what they do, and you haven't read the manual, yes, it's old school, you won't really know what they do, unless the image is really quite intuitive. So, let's take a look at another way to uh, compete in notice that the races we competed in and won disappeared from the map. So that's an amateur level, 14,000 prize, sounds good. 400, we can match that and raise. Oh, well, they're upping the ante, 1,500, let's match that. Almost down to our last 2,000. Alright, I think that's going to be enough to compete. Hopefully you will win and not go bankrupt. As you can see, each track has, well, not every single one, but there's quite a few different backdrops to the races, and that also affects in many ways the type of road you're going to race, the uh, amount of traffic you're going to encounter, and so on. Whether there's police, uh, and the... Uh, oof. Ah! Come on, we're boxed in! Not good. Our car's already pretty damaged. Well, at least not as much as that one that's already smoking, but... As you can see, this city uh, track has a lot more traffic. Let's weave and bob. Let's summon the Muhammad Ali spirit deep within us. Fly like a butterfly. Out of the way. Gameplay is really tight in the sense that uh, every input immediately translates into action on the screen, which is to be expected for this type of racing game. The issue is that, well, <laughs> Your old crickety fingers are not likely to be able to keep up with the breakneck pace that 
some of the later races will eventually devolve into a button mash fest that doesn't always result in what uh, you wanted it to, that is, a victory. Because your car only gets faster, opponents only get more difficult, police only gets more prevalent, and the tracks ever more twisty, winding, narrow, and full of obstacles. If you think this race is hard, play it until Division 1 and weep. Almost closing in on a second victory. And these are the basics of the game. Racing, hopefully winning to get enough money to upgrade your car, repair it, and pay the fee for the next race. Always keep in mind that the final race costs a bundle, so keep money in reserve. And that is it, Boston won again, 14,000 in prize money, to a total of 22,400 for the race, including the bets. And another three points, we're still placed second behind Spencer. There it is, repair your car, can't really afford any upgrades right now, but you get the gist of it. This is Crazy Cars 3, and there is a new upgrade, Spiked Tires. Hmm. Well, we'll have to save up for that. Eventually, you might even be able to buy a new car. But that is all she wrote for this episode, for Crazy Cars 3. See you next time.